Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my weekly, daily updates, whatever you want to call them. They're um, days of progress updates. This is now, I think it's day 12. And um, I'm sorry I didn't hit you guys up on day 11. <laughs> um, and just because I had a, a lot of other things I've been working on recently, you know, if you guys have been playing with me on the server, uh, you know, you guys know that I've been kind of jumping on and off, and I haven't been able to, um, I haven't been able to be on very much other than just change some things. Um, the reason why I'm flying in the middle of nowhere is um, to show you guys, um, you know, one of the little features that I've uh, added. Um, the last video I, I kind of explained a few things about the newbie zone and we're just about to fly into it if I'm going the right direction. There it is. That says welcome to the newbie zone. Um, the new newbie zone is uh, quite huge. How would I put it that way? It's very, very big. Um, I don't think I have a very good connection speed right now <laughs> for, some, um, for some reason. But yeah, right now we're in the newbie zone. Um, I'm going to show you guys real fast to to see if you are in it without having to worry about the signs, uh, without without having to worry about the, um, you know, the message whenever you enter or exit it. I'm not sure if you guys have the access to do this yet, but if you do, um, just try it out. Go ahead, take a piece of string. If you're in the newbie zone, you'll get this message. Watch it. Take a right click on the ground with a piece of string. Um, can you build? Yes. Applicate, you know, applicable regions newbie. Um, in other words, you're in the newbie region, um, and uh, everybody can build in the newbie region, so it should say yes. Um, so we're back here. Uh, if you guys remember this from the last video, this is the uh, the newbie starter zone. I uh, went ahead and added a few. Oops. Oh yeah, you can't open things with it for some reason. <laughs> um, oh yeah, you can't build inside the newbie house. So let's see how it says you can't build no. Anyways, yeah, I added a couple things to the newbie house. Um, of course, you know, a little welcome sign. Um, I added a, you know, explanation of how everything works. Um, you know, you know how, what's the difference between a newbie and a, uh, a builder. And I added the uh, commands that we c that you guys can use. Um, I didn't add what, you know, what they do. You can just kind of figure them out, you know, by playing around with them. Actually, I might do an episode on just how all the commands work and, um, if I have to add any more commands in the future, I'll make a new video, you know, just detailing that command and exactly its ins and outs, that kind of a thing. Um, if you guys want a command video um, to make sure, you know, everything works real well, um, go ahead and, and give me a shout out. Um, shout at me and I'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, I have a couple people building over here. Um, this is, I forget his name, uh, D-Man 8's fort over here completely built out of wood um, so it's really really cool I like it he he specifically told me to call it a fort <laughs> I like it um, there's a lot of people building in the newbie area that aren't noobs um, so they because just because they chose it to be their home a long time ago so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, jump back over to uh, show you guys some of the new structures that are split springing up. I'm going to cut the video um, just to um, just to make it a little bit faster. Okay, hold on. Okay guys, I'm back and we are here in, um, in a pretty much a little complex um, full of a few people's houses that you know they got along and they built next to each other on an island. It looks really really cool. Um, not sure what this is. That's new. Um, this house belongs to Alan Ocelot and to Lily. Um, the good people. They're fun to talk to on the uh, on the uh, Mumble server. Um, here's Emperor Moth, and there's his house, which we were just staring at. It's pretty cool. I like it. And uh, they built a cool little bridge. I mean, it's a nice little complex they have going on here. Um, pumpkin farms, everything, not me pumpkin farms, melon farms. Yeah, they are, um, they're all builders, so they're doing great. They've been on here for a while, good people, you know, but they've built their own little, they built their everything, um, you know, 
you know, they've been building everything on here for a while. I don't know what this is. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks really, really cool. And it's made out of completely out of wool. Done legitimately. So, which is even harder. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, jump um, back to the area that we're used to um, seeing near the original spawn, which is now exclusively the builder spawn. So, I'll see you there. Okay, we're back actually right at the spawn for builders. So if you are um, becoming, if you are a builder, or, or if you are promoted to be a builder, um, then uh, you would spawn there um, if you died and you didn't have a set home command. Um, that's just uh, a temporary place. Um, I am kind of planning on... Um, you know, um, kind of encouraging you guys to move away from this zone. Um, just to have your own area to build in and so you can start up your own, you know, pretty much your own little area. Just like the guys in the last cut I had, uh, they were doing. You know, they moved far away from this zone and they started up their own little thing. I know a couple of you guys together. Um, so, um... What I'm doing, uh, what well, won't. I, I do like this area though. Still, there's a lot of really cool buildings. Just not a lot of too much progress I've seen get done. Um, you know, there's been a couple of floating houses and stuff like that added. Um, people have been griefed over here, um, not by people I've noticed, but pretty much by creepers and by endermen, um, which is a point I'm going to go over um, at the end of the episode. Um, so yeah, there's really not really too much over here. This is, looks pretty cool. I like that kind of wood. Um, not really too much has happened over here. But one thing that I want to um, show you guys real fast, um, I know that the guys might get mad at me for this, but I refer to it too many times in the server, so I'm pretty sure everybody knows <laughs> um, that, you know, I'm pretty sure he knows that everybody knows where it is. And I don't think he'd be too worried about it. Um, they would, sorry. Um, this is more tax and dud metals and um, I'm pretty sure it's B. Flavin or something like that. Let me check his name real fast. It is, yep, these people. <laughs> B. Favilov. Yeah, more tax and dud metal. Um, this is something they've been building on the side, um, away from everybody. And um, pretty much they're doing it all themselves. It's, it's this is all done by hand. No mods, anything. They carved out this the area that you see. You know, it used to be about that height. Um, you know, down in this direction as well. They carved that whole area down to where it is right now. I think it's just about sea level. I'm not sure. Um, and I'm not going to check because <laughs> it's really really cool. Oh, um, for anybody that wants to know. Um, in this direction in general, there is a lot of water. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. In that general direction, this coastline right here, and the coastline follows for a long way in that direction as well. If you follow that coast the whole way, um, there's a lot of water around. Okay. So that is, I think that is generally it for, um, a build update. Um, I know there's a lot of houses going in, and I know there's a lot of, you know, cool creations going in. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, let you guys. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna encourage you guys to, um, like I said, build outside of the original area. Um, it's a very cool ravine. It goes underground in two spots. It's very cool. Um, build outside the original area um, uh, if you guys can somehow you know or, or do whatever you want to do um, I have a lot of cool plans uh, for for a you know some sort of system um, that I want to start um, in the server so what I'm gonna do now is um, go ahead and jump over to the newbie zone and explain to you guys what I want to do okay guys I'm back in the the newbie zone and uh, I'm going to show you guys what my plans are 
for the newbie zone. Um, right now we're flying over the plains, which have been cleared of most of their um, most of their grass. Hey, look at that a spire jockey. Huh. I want to tell you about a few changes I've made and um, a few plans I have for the server. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and land over by the newbie house. This is still going to be the newbie house. Um, uh, what I do plan on doing is um, adding some sort of building over here. Actually, I do have to add a mail sign now that I think about it. So, um, what I think I'll do is make like a small post office over here. Um, all public buildings, you know, cool little public buildings like these um, in this little area. Um, what I do want to happen is um, within this newbie area somewhere, I'm assuming in this plains region, to build a, a, a little city that um, you can't really grief the buildings um, because they will all be newbie public buildings. So um, they'd be able to build outside of it, outside of the city, but not within, you know, a small city border, a very small city border, you know, just for small public buildings. Um, one of those buildings I plan on making a rail system, a, um, some sort of minecart system. Um, so... So there'll be a building um, where I design, where I bring in one of the designs that I've used in a previous uh, multiplayer servers um, for a minecart system. Um, that minecart system will actually bring people on minecarts from to and from each cardinal direction. Um, so from so from here, these minecart stations will actually extend to a substation, which is about I don't know, maybe 300, 400, 500 blocks, I don't know, in either direction. Um, that substation will be the pretty much, uh, actually, no, I'll put about 500, just right on the border, about, um, of the newbie zones. Um, that substation will be the border station, and we'll have, like, another public set of public buildings, like the mailboxes and those kinds of things. Um, <clears throat> each one of the substations will have. Each one of those substations will also have, um, will also be able to send and receive minecarts as well. Um, and from there, those substations will kind of have directions based on where people have built um, around them. So what I'll do is uh, those substations will go to end stations. So let me, let me just go ahead and um, show this out to you, a little, make a little bit of an example here. So let's go ahead and make this the main station. Pretend this is the main station. Okay? Each cardinal direction will have like um, minecarts going out, minecart tracks going out in each direction, uh, if you get the, the point there. And each one of the um, each one of the directions will have a small substation. Oh, that's one of the features I have to tell you guys about soon. Uh, the substation, which would be right, for example, right here. Um, that substation should have um, more minecarts, uh, minecart tracks coming out of it. Um, what I'm going to do is, like I said, it, it will kind of depend on where people have built before, um, and you know it'll be dictated by that. Um, so, general, for example, in that direction is generally where we have been building since the beginning. So. This, I can guarantee you that this substation will have a rail going from the substation all the way to the original spawn. So that's the kind of thing I'm planning to do. Um, depend on where you guys are building, um, I'll build little little teeny towns at the ends of one of these little um, these arms, or you guys can build the towns. But as soon as they enter the builder area, um, it's up to you guys to maintain. Um, it's up to you guys to build the towns around the substations or extend the rails. Um, past a certain point, um, so that's up to you guys. So, but uh, just to it's just to make uh, transportation easier for everybody, so I don't have to worry about teleporting people when they get stuck or lost anymore, um, or moderate in the future moderators won't have to. So um, that's annoying me not being even. So uh, some of the features I need to tell you guys about. I see Mr. Enderman over here. See, notice how he does not have a block in his hand. Um, that is a feature I added. I made it so he cannot grief. Um, also, creepers will do player damage, which they can't do to me. Um, 
they will do player damage, but they will not do block damage. Um, the reason why is because our original spawn zone has like a bazillion craters in it, and I don't like that too much. Um, but I still like the challenge of having to worry about getting hurt. Um, you know, I know you guys like to build your buildings, and I do too, and I don't like for creepers to explode on mine either. Um, you know, generally half of us are careful enough to make sure that doesn't happen, but, um, for example, somebody might go into your house and just explore around for a second or two, you know, just to look at things, and you might have been followed by a creeper and not think about it, and it would blow up your house. So that's kind of the reason why I did it. And, um, so yeah, those are the, uh, the new features that I've implemented. I've also implemented a hierarchy system, well not hierarchy system, but um, a default and builder system. Um, also you're going to see on here that um, there will be donors also. Um, their names, as you can tell from right there, um, if somebody speaks, there you go. Um, it says builder, it says their name in yellow, and then it um, says their message. Um, if you are promoted to a builder, you may build outside of the newbie zone. Um, it is up and running. Um, there is really no quirks to it anymore. Um, I haven't really had to modify any settings along those lines um, since yesterday um, when I actually implemented the whole thing um, correctly. So, yeah. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and uh, start laying out the city over here, it would be really, really cool. Um, or if you guys wanted to start laying out whatever you feel like doing, um, that'd be really, really cool. Um, if I think that it is good enough to be protected, um, to be kept on the server, um, I will go ahead and draw a region around it and make sure nothing can happen to it. So that would be really cool, don't you think? Um, because, uh, if you know, you have a public buildings over here, um, for example, in the future, if we wanted to add chests, um, chess shops or, I'm uh, sorry, not chess, like chess shops or anything along those lines, um, uh, that would be, you know, a good place to do it would be in these cities, which would be centered at the rail, rail stations. Um, and, you know, each city would have a name corresponding to where it is or one of those kind of things, just like everybody's been making the Seaville, the Desert Village or whatever. So, so that's it, guys. Um, it's been a, a really long couple days, and a lot of a lot of admin work on my side's been done, and I really haven't seen most of your guys' stuff because I've been working on that admin stuff. Um, I plan on adding moderators in the next couple days. Um, they will be responsible for promoting people from um, default builders, um, so they can only to for, you know newbies, for example. Um, they can, you know we will be responsible for promoting newbies to. Um, builder status. Um, also for demoting people from builder to um, default status. It's a newbie status again, uh, sorry. Um, also they would be able to um, send, uh, make a, sorry, send people to a jail for example. Um, that jail um, sentence, um, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, if you guys don't like the jail idea, that's fine with me. Um, I can go ahead and uh, not give that permission to them. But um, the main permissions I'm expecting to do is give them a teleport command um, just to be able, to, and uh, it, the teleport command will have a cooldown on it. Um, also, um, also, you know, with that teleport command, they'd be able to go in, you know, they'd be able to teleport to you, see the griefer damage or whatever, and demote people based on that. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Um, I'm having even more fun than I expected. Um, since all these um, permissions things are done, and you know the, the you know waiting for people to prove themselves in the newbie area has been done, um, <laughs> uh, it's it's been really good for griefers and for people stealing stuff and all that along those lines. Um, <clears throat> so uh, thank you guys, and I'll uh, see you next time.